As much as we think we know Paris, like being reunited with a dear friend who shares a memory and a new experience with you, so too does Paris, always unfolding itself in both surprising and wonderfully familiar ways. Even if it is just your first time there, try to let go of your map and your laundry list of must-see historical sites, even if just for a day. Get lost a little, and in doing so, discover that Paris's true spirit lies in its wandering streets, little jewel-like shops and markets, and in its day-to-day -day present life. Presentation is a right here, a belief that the best of things are the most simple, and the most simple things are the best. To talk to the shopkeepers is to learn and become a part of this daily ritual yourself. That is not to imply that Paris's rich history should go unexplored, but instead of waiting in line for it, try absorbing by staying away from tour buses, and instead, take a bike, day or night. The city has smartly made a special lane for two wheels now, and it brings you more intimately into its celebrating its sights, sounds, and smells, and closer alongside its people. Paris should not be a solitary experience, unless you are reading at a cafe. And don't let the Parisians intimidate you. They are proud to share their bounty with you if you simply take the time to speak with them. I have found that some of my most memorable and instructive encounters have been the inquisitive ones, whether at a boulangerie or a china shop. So get lost in the ceremony of ordering a glass of wine, escargot, or a ribbon for your new hat in French. By all means, see the big sights, but the little ones are the real reason why Paris will keep beckoning you back again and again, and why instead of saying au revoir, you'll want to say a bientôt.